So it's 5.30 a.m. here in Death Valley and I've returned to the same location I was shooting yesterday evening. And the reason for that is I found a wonderful composition yesterday but it didn't work half as well as I'd hoped. What happened is the light didn't materialise like I thought it was going to so I ended up turning around and shooting a different composition back towards the east. So what I want to do is return to that same spot and shoot that composition, hopefully, in much better conditions. Um, so yeah, this, this is great. Perseverance, um, returning to the same location and learning how it works with the light certainly pays off. So I'm hoping for a really smooth ride this morning. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my coffee and then make the hike out into the desert and see if I can find the exact composition that I found yesterday in the dark. This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the night So I'm currently just looking for my composition. <laughs> um, it's a bit of a maze of cracks. <sighs> But I did leave a little clue so I could find it. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. From uh -huh. The stick marks my composition. So this is the marker that I left for uh, for my composition, and it did its job perfectly. So now. I just need to wait for the light. And I'd also like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring my channel. So if you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash heater. Right, I better get set up. Excuses were two for a penny, but they've all gone out the window of this car. And when I So the conditions here are phenomenal, as the ambient light has been increasing and I've been setting up my composition, the landscape has come to life and we're surrounded by this amazing low hanging mist. We are eight minutes from sunrise and we're going to get, or I'm hoping that we're going to get a lovely pink purple sky there and we have this low hanging mist which although looks amazing I think with the wide lens it's you're just gonna lose it slightly so now it's just a case of waiting for the uh, sun to rise and for the sky to become pink and maybe the light just to catch the top of those mountains as the ambient light started to increase and the sun began to rise it became apparent that this image actually wasn't going to work although I like the foreground interest the atmosphere and the conditions didn't lend itself to this composition. The light on the mountains was washed out and diffused by the mist in the distance, which frustratingly I couldn't capture using a wide lens. The foreground was incredibly flat with no contrast and the sky was barren and bare with not a single cloud in sight. And I knew that if I was to capture this photograph, it simply wouldn't be a patch on the image that I captured the previous day. So I'm just walking back to the car and reflecting on this morning. I think on one hand I'm so fortunate just to be here. Um, and the conditions this morning, although they were lovely, I found it very frustrating because the mist, which is still hanging around, you can see it in the background there. The mist was phenomenal, but yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't photograph it. You know, it was just lost, but just to experience it was amazing. And then the light over to the west, I was hoping for more colour in the pre-sunrise sky, but that didn't happen, which is a shame. I was just hoping that this morning, this composition would be 
far better than when I shot it yesterday. So I was just walking back to the car and all of the mist just laying in the valley was uh, so nice to look at and I really wanted to get a shot but I knew it was pointless running around just stopping and setting up the camera anyway so I figured I would wait um, to see if a composition offered itself to me rather than me running around hundreds of square miles looking for something and it did so I'm just stopping very very quickly uh, just to show you what I'm doing it's a bit of a rush the lights going the mist is going but basically we have these these yellow I don't know what they are they're yellow bushes like sort of weed like tumbleweed uh, typical of what you would find in a desert and the light has just come up over the mountains and it's catching these from the side and in the distance we have these lovely hills here mountains with the light catching them and then the low hanging mist lots of ingredients for a lovely photograph so I've just framed the composition and it is quite nice I've got a three stop medium edge filter on um, and I've just framed my composition with three bushes one two three third one in the middle and it almost mimics the shape of the mountain I think I'll be going for a four by five crop crop, crop on this f11 focus to infinity and yeah the lights nice the mist is nice it's good I think it was a good little find bit of a rush setting it up because I could see it all just disappearing before my eyes but an image well worth capturing I don't even want to do that. No. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, change of plans. Bit of a problem. We're on our way to some sand dunes. And uh, my hire car is simply not going to make it past this obstacle. What a shame. So I don't know if I've uh, mentioned it, I think I must have mentioned it, that I'm on this trip hanging out with Ben Horn and Shane Dignam. Shane's behind, Ben's driving in front. Um, so yeah, it's been really fun, Re two really nice guys, two both large format 8x10 photographers, and then me, <laughs> me with my Canon. But um, we've not been shooting together, we've just been hanging out, camping at the same campground and then we go off and do our own thing uh, at sunrise and sunset and then have a good talk and reminisce about the adventures we've had that day. So it's really cool. Um, yeah, anyway, Zion. Going to Zion early, which, you know, it's a shame we don't get to shoot the dunes, but hey, two extra days in Zion is not to be sniffed at. So, yeah, really looking forward to this. Is it real? Could this be
So after a long drive, we've landed in Zion National Park. I've just set up camp and had some food and I am absolutely knackered. So I think I'm just gonna have an early night and yeah, see what tomorrow brings. It's a shame we couldn't go to the sand dunes, but on the plus side, it just means we have more time in Zion, which is, is very exciting for me. So I'm gonna pick this video up next time and we'll see, uh, see, yeah, see what happens in Zion. I'm very excited. I'm also very tired. Really can't wait to get to sleep. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'd like to thank Squarespace for their continued support. If you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and start your free trial. And if you like your free trial and you're happy with their service and happy with their templates, and generally happy with everything that they do, then use the offer code HEATON for 10% off your first purchase. Right, I am gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna drop dead right now because I am so tired. So, tune in next time for Zion National Park. Bye for now.